8.33, time to head out to Bridget Ryan, who's right on target this morning, or at least trying to be, right? <laughs> yes. Um, I'm finding that this wonderful world of archery is uh, so much more than just a sport that you sort of muscle your way through. It's all about mindset. And I have to give uh, all of our viewers the dollop of wisdom that, you know, David in passing, and that's David over there. He's just like, David, when he gets stuck in traffic, he's fine. If there's a big long lineup, he's good. And he said to me earlier, he goes, the target, Bridget, isn't there. It's right here. And to which I was like, oh, yeah. So that is sort of the wisdom that you must succumb to, if you will. And I say succumb because it's about letting go of getting the target. Because it's a really, I think, a wonderful thing about the art of archery. And, and, and I say that because we're just talking about how many families are engaged and children with their parents coming and getting so much out of this. That's correct, Bridget. Uh, we have quite a few people coming as families or parents with their their child of whatever age from say 7 to 14 or whatever and we'll just get the parents up there shooting with them and it's just a whole new experience for them it's it's quite great awesome and I want to focus on because I'm gonna get back in the because I, I just sort of muscled through it very quickly there but last we left Eric and I want to just say good morning to Eric's mom hey what is your mom's name Sonia 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 what is up doesn't your son look so handsome with his Haircut? That's right, Phil. Come on. Give it to him, Phil. Yes. Um, would you like to say hi to Sonia? Hi, Mom. <laughs> he was, of course, well, calling his mom to see if she was watching the segment and how he was doing and his sport, and she's just like, great haircut. You got a haircut. It looks awesome. Was it down to your bum before? No. Okay. No. Good. Good. All right. You are not content with wooden said bow and arrow, the more traditional type. You've got this. What is this? Uh, this is traditionally a, called a target compound. Okay. Um, very similar to the Olympic recurve setup, except all the stabilizing systems put onto a compound bow. And so uh, did you start where I'm about to go to with the wooden bow and arrow and sort of graduate to this? Or does, does this give you sort of more of the, the sport, the aim that you're looking for? Actually, I started on compound mm -hmm. and I ended up going to recurve as well. Just for the fact that uh, the recurve bow does basically help you gain a, a, t a tighter form, uh, makes you a better archer in the long run, which is increasing my scores on, on the compound. Compound scores. Eric, we know that your mother is watching and Eric's mother, Sonia. Um, she would love to see nothing more. Pressure is on. It's live TV, baby. Can you get a yellow circle? Can you get the bullseye? You can give it a shot. <laughs> All right, enter Zen. The Zen and the Art of Archer, ladies and gentlemen, here is Eric, a.k.a. Sonia Sun, lining up for the shot. He's focused. All is quiet. I don't know, is it like golf? He's put something on his bow. He's focusing. It's very quiet in here. You could hear a, a pin drop. There he goes. He's lining it up. Oh, my gosh, you did it! You're amazing! Oh, and he's, like, just lining up again. He just did that. Um, I'm gobsmacked. That's awesome. Oh, he's lining up again. Miss Ryan, he says, that was not just lucky. I actually have skill and ability. Here we go, as we go to break. Oh, he gets the red! Will you be on my darts team? Sure, why not? <laughs> Uh, this is amazing. I was going to take a shot, but we've run out of time because Eric was just, frankly, too fantastic. We'll be back. I'm going to talk about probably the oldest aspect of archery, the oldest type of bow and arrow when we come back. It's about six, no, seven feet tall, this bow. You don't want to miss it. We'll be back. More BT after this.